Well, guys, just another week for our country where we try to fight coronavirus, end injustice, and get through an economic downturn. I think that's about enough to deal with, don't you think? Wait, all right, what's that sound? Is that, is that bees? Bees? Bees! So, beaches have been packed with people trying to push away the quarantine blues. But a beach in New Jersey dealt with a very different kind of swarm this week. Thousands of bees descended on the beach Tuesday, focusing much of their attention on a single towel. A local amateur beekeeper came by and picked up the towel, saying that the bees were just following their queen. They're just hanging around the queen, watching her as they send out scouts in all directions to try to find a, find a new home. Looks like I should put in a Yas Queen right about now, but I won't. Not gonna do it. Yas Queen! Yas Queen! This week, the Red Sox showed their support for the Black Lives Matter movement by hanging a giant banner on the side of Fenway Park. So it's important for us to be unambiguous about where we stand with respect to Black Lives Matter. Um, it's really important we support the movement, we support the humanity, the sentiment, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's what our organization stands for, uh, and, and we're proud to amplify that message. Speaking of Fenway, you can get a cardboard cutout of yourself put on the Green Monster and win some sweet prizes if it gets hit by a home run. All proceeds for the $500 tickets go to the Red Sox Foundation, and if your cutout gets beamed, you can win autographed gear, season tickets, and a video replay of the hit. It's all the fun of being injured during a baseball game without the hospital visit. Anyone from Boston knows that stirrowing, where trucks get stuck under the Sturro Drive Bridge, is a regular tradition that will never go away. Well, this week we got a double feature, with not one, but two trucks being stirrowed. Good to know that even when the world is crazy, some things never change. Finally, the FDA has updated their list of toxic hand sanitizers that contain methanol, which is bad for you and potentially deadly, rather than ethanol, which kills those germs and doesn't kill you. Go to FDA.gov for a full list of 75 methanol-based hand sanitizers you should definitely keep off your body. So what did we learn today? Watch out for beach-going bees, don't drive tall trucks under low bridges, and some kinds of hand sanitizer can be fatal. Enjoy your weekend. Bees? Bees? Bees. I'm like Robbies. It's the worst joke I've ever made in my life. Robbies. And just so you know, a lot of bees can be nice. They got that honey. They got that honey. Is there a dog barking? <laughs>